Welcome back to Wizard Roo Vlogs. I am Jay, aka Talk. Today, we're going to surprise my wife, Alicia V, with breakfast in bed. She's currently sleeping. Let's check her out. So, as you guys can see, she's lying there asleep. So, we're going to sneak out. So, now, guys, I just need to sneak out. So, let's head on out. Guess we'll take this one. They're both kind of loud, so I guess it wouldn't really matter. But hopefully, not loud enough to wake her up. Hopefully, she sleeps through this. The temperature here is currently in the 20s, and that's that's very frigid for me. I did come dressed in a, I guess, better gear today, in a better coat rather. So <laughs> hopefully, to protect. I don't know if you caught it in the last video, but I was out in 20 degree weather in a jacket. Ah, big mistake. I don't know if you guys know this, but we do have a a lot going on. And we have a couple of channels, and being a YouTuber is not easy. So between the two of us, I mean, uh, really the whole family, I mean, we are extremely, extremely busy. So I like to do little small stuff like this, like just surprising her with breakfast in bed. That way when she wakes up, she don't have to worry about getting up and trying to prepare food for all six of us. Because, I mean, that's just one less thing that she have to worry about in our already busy schedules. Sorry about that. It's an alarm going off. But I mean, people think that you know, shooting these YouTube videos or, you know, just easy is picking up the camera and just filming, you know, five minute, ten minute video and then that's it. Uh, that's not the case. <laughs> and then you have to edit it and prepare it and get it ready to go. And then on top of that, the meals that we prepare, we are vegan. So it takes a whole lot more time to prepare all that stuff because it has to be done fresh. So, I mean, I just like to be able to say, just do a little small stuff like this just to show my wife that I really do love her and that I really do appreciate her. So, tips to all you dads out there, all your husbands, fiancés or boyfriends, whatever the case may be, uh, show your queen that you do appreciate her. Don't forget the small stuff. So I often forget how bad the traffic can be first thing in the morning. <laughs> this dreaded traffic. See, we don't, I guess, leave out early in the morning. Typically because our kids are homeschooled and we work from home for the most part. Um, it's just not often that we have to leave out. But so because of that, I leave out and try to hurry up and surprise my wife with something special and run into this. It's actually starting to move a little bit now. So I'm trying to hurry back also to surprise the kids before they get up because they'll be up very, very soon. They usually do get up pretty early in the morning and they'll be coming down wanting breakfast. <laughs> so that they can get ready for class. So I'm trying to hurry up and make this go as quick as possible so that I can get back before they actually get up and get the stern around. So we have made it to our destination. We just need to kind of travel on foot a little bit to get to the actual restaurant. So come along with me. Take the elevator up. We're going to this place right here called Biscuit head. This place makes some of the best biscuits, best vegan biscuits at that that we've ever had. So, I mean, the kids, my wife, we all love them. If you ever have the chance to be able to eat it, biscuit head, try the sweet potato gravy. It's absolutely amazing. 
just kind of nestled in the midst of these homes here. It's kind of uh, homes and shopping here in the downtown area. But let me go inside here and pick up the biscuits. I'll see you guys in a second. So we have the goods and I'm gonna head back home, trying to hurry up so we can make it back before they all wake up and get stirring and try to figure out breakfast. We're gonna sneak it in there. Like I was saying earlier, Biscuit Head has some of the best vegan biscuits and sweet potato gravy. Ah, sweet potato gravy is absolutely amazing. So that's what we come here for. I mean, they do have other options and it's not just a vegan restaurant. I mean, they have all kinds of food there, but they do accommodate our special diet there. Just like that, we have made it back to the car. Let's hurry up and get on back home. So, we have made it back home, and let's get inside and see if we can surprise them. So guys, I do believe that we have made it back in successfully without anyone waking up first. So, I'm gonna get the table set and I may actually throw in a little extra. I may cook some vegan sausage to kind of add alongside of the vegan biscuits. Let me get to it before they wake up. Okay guys, she's still here sleeping, as you can see. So I think we did a good job getting back as soon as we could. I'm gonna cook some vegan sausage here. some noise and hear somebody stirring. Let's go figure out who it is. So yeah guys, she's up. I think she's in the bathroom. As you can hear all this noise. I think she's getting ready maybe. She must have smelt the food. So now we see that she's up. We gotta hurry up and kick this thing up in the high gear. Let's hurry up and get the plate fixed. At least hers. morning. Good morning. <laughs> so what do you think about your breakfast? This is awesome. I thought I was just dreaming about food. <laughs> <laughs> so the smell of the food woke you up. Yeah, thank you. Well, I hope this helps you get off to a good start this morning. And it's one less thing you have to worry about trying to cook breakfast for all of us. This helps a whole lot. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> So guys, that's how you get it done. Just remember to your queens, just remember to do the small stuff. Always do the small stuff because it goes a long way. And we're about to go wake up the rest of the crew so that we can dig on in here. If you haven't subscribed already, do hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that push notification bell. I'll catch you guys on the next vlog.